What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. Now, you with my homegirl, Sadistic. Yo. Yo, like a jello mode. And, uh, we thought we'd do this video because we saw this on Dr. Phil th Thursday. And, uh, one thing about this, and actually, I was watching it, and one thing is it really was sad to find out this model used to be on America's America, uh, next top model like we knew like I know a friend Adrian Curry that was on the show and uh I don't think they were friends huh I don't think they were friends no I mean no 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 I said my friend Adrian Curry but oh okay. friend. yeah but uh she was on this girl was on American Idol my she was beautiful this girl is beautiful you, I know all the fellas were trying to hit that fine piece of ass and she won the contest. They say that, like she was on Dr. Phil, said he brought something up about what happened, at, something happened at, to her at a young age. When she was competing on America's Next Time Model, her friend died of an overdose and she still stayed to, to compete. And uh, she was hunting. And after she won, she was losing control, popping pills, taking meth, all this and that, and it's kind of sad that she's been doing this, a beautiful young woman, popping pills, looking beautiful, man, she ain't care, this is her now, meth addict, man, meth, meth head, uh, like, what the fuck? Teeth. Like Meg's husband's girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Um, have you noticed that all the head men reach their hair like scraggly? Looking? Yeah, I noticed that. No. Yeah, I noticed that. Every meth head will. She's sadistic, right? Every meth head would dye their hair. A lot, and their hair looks scraggly looking. I mean, I'm not saying there's, there's a problem with guys with hair blowing up, like, for example, my ex girlfriend. She's an ex and her hair, and like, people on TV, like, uh, intervention, they either have, like, multi colored hair or police chair. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. But, uh,. Well, uh, but this woman lost it. She's hot. She went out hot. Like her name is is hard to pronounce. Jal Jalel Strats. I don't know who the hell named this child. Is. She's they she they say she's 28. Bullshit. I found out she was born in 85. She's one year younger than me. There's no way in hell she's 28 if she was born in 85. That means she just turned 27 this year. There is no 28 in that shit, but they say she's 28. And um, I say like this, man. I say, how do you go from a beautiful ass woman that won a contest, a beautiful top model, and shit, to a damn meth head? Like, it's bad enough, like, to, to be honest, it's bad enough that the industry wants, like, it's bad, it's bad enough that some of the, that some of the model, modeling agency wants you, wants models to be skinny. They even banned that shit overseas. Overseas, like in Europe, they banned that. Any model that stars themselves are too damn skinny, they will be s prosecuted for that being that damn skinny. It was against the law to be that skinny in the over in that country. But this woman went from beautiful to the fucked up man. That is fucked up that she went went down that road down that road where she had everything in the at her fingertips I think she was doing it in 
middle of Model 2. Not next, but like maybe Coke or Pills or something. Yeah. And I couldn't figure out why is this girl doing this shit? Stupidity. Stupidity. I said I can understand when you lose some when you lose somebody that was close to you or something happened to you, you turn to something to ease the pain. Like my friend, he died a few years ago. I did not turn to the bottle. I did not turn to drugs to ease my pain. I dealt with that shit. And that's one thing I ain't gonna do is run back, run to a fucking bottle or run to drugs to ease my fucking pain because my life was hard. But that's what she did. And she was on Dr. Phil's show. I'm posting the story link uh, in the description box because <laughs> you gotta remember something, man. It's like the modeling industry is a bitch. Same with acting and music. That shit can fuck you up quicker than anything. So when you get out there, you might be looking like this, beautiful as can be. But they will fuck you up like that. Oh my god. They are like that like saying go, they will chew you up and spit you out. And that's what they. That's a bad habit. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened. Now you look at Adrian Curry. She went through so much shit in her life. She did drugs. And shit. And she won America's Next Top Model. She married Christopher Nice. Well, okay. they did divorce. Like what? Uh, like what was it? Like this year? Like um, actually, from like Twitter's I've seen, they're getting ready to have it finalized, so. Yeah, they, they're about to get I feel it. like a fucking stalker. I'm not a stalker, I swear. But sure, yeah. you're gonna get a Adrian. <laughs> yeah, but, uh. I love you, Adrian. You rule. Star yeah. Wars, baby. <laughs> you got stole some lucky, <laughs> some love. And, uh, Adrian Curry's getting her. they about to finalize her divorce. But she never went back to doing drugs, and that's what's fucking awesome, you know? Yeah. Her, I mean, I never did hair, but, you know, I've been around people that have, and they've died from it, and that's a son of a bitch to, like, kick. Yeah, that's how it is, man, because Adrian, she's now doing a show about gamers. She's making mm -hmm. good money. She's not on drugs. And all this and that. I mean, it's just my weed. I ain't a drug. Yeah. See, me, I did. I smoked weed and drank. I was underage drinking. I was smoking weed. And we were bad. Back yeah, in the day. man. Back in the day, I was like that's all I did was smoke the weed and did the little, did some little bit of drinking. But I did. I didn't take that drinking as a habit. That's one thing. I didn't turn drinking into a habit. Cause that's and what, all of her teeth are gone too. She had beautiful yeah. teeth. Yeah. Beautiful. It was like I was asking you or telling you, like, you know, if she gets clean and everything, goes through the whole rehab program, would her looks, like her beauty, come back? Or it would, is she smart? Yeah, it, it like, it <laughs> like, like, her, like, if she gets off that shit, her face will start to fill back out. Because one thing, once you get on meth and shit like that, crack and meth, it makes you skinny as shit and it'll fuck up your look. But once you get once you get off of it, it fills you out. Apparently yeah. it's worse for what yeah. photos I've seen. Yeah, see, when you're on meth and shit like that, it eats all your fat. It all hurts you. Now, it, it, no, it doesn't eat all your fat. You never sleep. You're all constantly yeah. awake. That's why you never gain weight because you're constantly on the move. Mm -hmm. And that's how you look skinny as hell because that's what somebody told me. It's like you're constantly on the move when you do this shit. I would. <laughs> yeah. And then once you get off of it, you're starting to gain your weight back. You start to fill out. Sometimes yeah. too much. Yeah. Sometimes too much. Sometimes the right amount. But 
there are some things that won't come back, like your teeth. That's just and gone. your skin, your skin tone, or if you got like scabs and shit. Yeah, like on your arms, you still gonna like if you injected that shit on your in your arms, that scars are always gonna be there. That is not gonna go away. You gonna have them fucking needle marks in your arm more than ever. I never seen on Adrian. They fit. You gotta remember, like, it depends on how bad you got into it. Oh, true. And where you stuck yourself. Yeah, like, depending on where you stick yourself. Like, there's been people that actually stuck the needle between their toes. I've heard, um, that, like, guys, like, if they would, like, blow out all their veins and, like, their arms and shit, they would, like, inject themselves in their dicks. Like, their veins in their cock. Yeah. They would inject it like that. Because uh, that's what I heard. Um, you know Mike Stark and Alice Chase that died, right? Yeah. Well, the lead singer, Lane Staley, the dude who died that he was with or whatever, um, he was a horrible fucking heroin addict. Um, he was wearing gloves, wears clothes, but I, I read somewhere that he, he all of his veins went bad and he started injecting himself in his like ear and in his dick. See? That's how bad his addiction was. Yeah, or they can inject it into their balls, into the, between their toes, their ass. I don't know. You have to <laughs> use the same. Yeah. yeah, that's what they do. They inject this shit because you like in your ass is a lot of muscle. Oh, and uh, in your neck. In your neck, your back. Your back is like one big ass nerve. That's. Like, for real, your back is... Oh, unless you're Stretch Armstrong. I don't think you're going to be injecting yourself in the back. <laughs> yeah. Unless you have a drug buddy do it for you. Yeah, because, what? <laughs> like, for real, your back is one big nerve. See you know what I'm saying? Because you got all these nerves coming out from your spine. And you got all this muscle and, and nerves in your spine because that's where your spine is at. That's like... That's uh the antenna to your brain. Yeah. All them nerves connects to that spine and goes to your brain. Them and uh, no, but it's like it's meth is is a bad thing to have. Like meth, problem, like to me, see this is why I bitch about why is weed such a bad thing. Why weed is such a bad thing? But you got all these other drugs just killing people: instant crack, cocaine, heroin meth mm -hmm. all this shit is killing people but weed is not the pro because one thing is that we never killed nobody it might might it might do some little bit of harm not that much but a little not as big as heroin crack and all that shit but we can also help somebody help people cataracts arthritis glaucoma Cancer. Yeah, cancer. Well, chemo, rather, I don't know. Yeah, it's cancer. Yeah, you smoke, yeah, lung cancer. My mom was offered uh, <laughs> cannabis, medical cannabis or whatever. Yeah. She's like, no. Yeah. Like, I don't think we even have it legal here. Someone at her work offered to give her some free weed, and I was like, damn it, mom, you should have checked it. Yeah. Yeah, see, weed is not just, not, see, they always say weed is a bad thing. No, weed is a good thing, too, to go that medical shit. If we were so damn bad, why does it help people with their glaucoma, with their arthritis, with their cancer? You say, oh, it's true down the process. Yeah, but it, it's not like cracking cocaine. You can't oh, die from it. It's the yeah. You can't die from it. Or whatever. Yeah, half the sh yeah, she's right. Tobacco is not tobacco. Shit, weed is an herb, just like the shit that you got in your kitchen is an herb. The herbs and spices you eating herb, motherfucker. You're sputting that shit on there. Mint is a herb. Mint, that little leaf they grind it up and put in your fucking bubble gum. Mint is a herb, and you eat it. Speaking of mint, I got bubble gum. Yeah, see? <laughs> uh, see what I'm saying? Mint, like, 
Mint is the herb, same as weed. Peppermint. Weed is an herb. Yeah, peppermint. Yeah, that's what mint is. That's what mint is made into, peppermint. Yeah, but that's how it is, man. You just can't. And this poor girl had everything in front of her. Yeah. She, she had to go and fuck it up. I mean, people make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I did drugs. Yeah, almost like, died from it, but, you know. Yeah, because I just hope that she can, you know, clean up and get yeah. her life back on track. Yeah. That's all I'm like. This girl needs some help, though. That's all she needs. But I tell y'all, but I, but I tell y'all this though, I tell y'all this, like, and I look at, like, cause one thing is I look at so many celebrities and they smoke weed and they, like, and they get slapped on the wrist and walk out it's like, why, why do they get to smoke weed and get slapped on the wrist and get away with so much? You can sit there and say, oh, they got some rare disorder. Bullshit, Snoop Dogg ain't got no disorder. Well, Snoop. He got a weed disorder. Yeah, he. Snoop Lion. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Willie Nelson ain't got no sleeping. Ain't got no fucking health problem. Fucking Amanda. Celebrities can get away with anything. Yeah, but. Even for her and. Like Robert Blake. Um, and OJ before he got put in prison for. Yeah, actually, I, actually, actually, Robert Blake was found innocent because they couldn't find. That's what him. I said. I said they don't go to jail either for yeah. murdering. They get away with murder. Actually, he did go to prison. He sat in prison for a few years till they finally realized he was innocent. I remember that. Yeah, but like I said, man, this girl needs some love and some help. I hope she gets that. Like, well, she's in rehab, so. Oh, she stays in there and get the help that she needs so she can live a better life so she can go back looking beautiful as ever. Look at that girl. She is so sexy. Mm -hmm. I would have done her. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, me too. I'll tell that just ass imagine, Just imagine all the men she slept with just to get that money. Ooh. Now you're there. You go like, uh. Ooh, like, goddamn. Man, that girl is like, back, like, before she done this shit, she was looking good. Have that. Yeah, I, girl, you look good with your back. That ain't gonna be a big fight. Uh, uh, and you uh, know what? It's fucking retarded. Tyra Banks won't even help or say anything. But you know that's her because you know how she treated Adrian. <laughs> she treated Adrian like a fucking witch. Like one thing. See, this is why I don't think she should have. Tyra Banks should have that show. She's a fucking dumbass. I've never liked. I her. was cool. I was cool when she had that fucking talk show. But when she came. She been doing that damn top model shit. Cause one thing is, you do not air a top model. You do not do that top model show shit. Because one thing is, you get a lot of people that has drug problems. Not to put Adrian Curry down or this, you know, or, or this, eating disorders. Eating disorder, drug problems, and all that shit. Because when you put them on national TV and you do all this bullshit to them, make them feel like shit, you're fucking with their self, you're fucking with their mind, their self-conscious. You're making them feel bad for themselves. Like Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, like, okay. like Gordon Ramsay, like Simon. Simon, what, Simon Cowell? Yeah. You make them feel bad. You just, the Tower Banks is putting herself right up there with them. She don't care. What was it, Gordon Ramsay? What was it? it? Had a lot of people commit suicide, like a uh, few mm -hmm. people out for uh, uh, Hell's Kitchen. A few people committed it, suicide. Yeah. Then he had a restaurant owner say, your restaurant's jumping off into the river. And he <laughs> turned that business around. And don't you know the next day, his the, the guy's restaurant was doing so good and successful, the guy actually jumped off into the river committing suicide. Maybe he was that excited. I'm kidding. Yeah, Bush. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but like I said, man, this girl just needed some help, man. That's all she asked for. I was really depressed when I watched yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, when I watched well, that. Well, I, I didn't watch the whole thing. I just watched the crazy. I was like, damn, that was the most I, I, I actually watched the whole thing. I was very depressed. I felt, and it was funny, Dr. Phil, out of 10, 
after 10 years being on the air, he actually went out and talked to her. He hasn't been out. He was the only, she was the only guest that he actually went out the building to talk to. Oh, really? Really. Huh. Only guest. But you know what, though, man? I'm glad she's getting the help she needs. I'm glad she went on. Well, she sticks to it. Yeah, you know, me too. Cause I hate for this girl to fall off the horse again and end up dead. So we're end up dead somewhere because of a drug problem. Did uh, Doctor Phil say if they want to do like the um, what do you call it? What? It's not a recap, but like a uh, update. Yeah, an update. Yeah, they always do when it comes down to people that has a drug problem or eating disorder. You know, you always have that. I remember uh, he had like these twins on his show. One of them was pregnant. And they was on that shit, the crack cocaine, heroin, all that shit. Beautiful as can be, man, before they got on that shit. Beautiful twins. And they got on that shit, and then one of them got pregnant, and she don't do it. She didn't do it as much, but she still did it. The other twin was doing it so bad she was homeless. She sold her fucking body for the mess, for some drugs. So fucked up, man. Don't you know, Doctor Phil didn't take none of that shit and actually put them in rehab. Like months and months later, man, they can. Doctor Phil did an update. Uh, did an update and they was looking gorgeous again. The girl, the one, the one twin that was pregnant, she mm-hmm. gave her baby up for adoption so the baby can have a better life. Oh, that's understandable. Yeah, but got any last words to say, Miss Sadistic? Um, well, I honestly, I mean, I have nothing against you know druggies, and I'd be, I'd be very hypocritical. But, you know, it's, just, it's really sad when someone, you know, gets into some hardcore shit. And I honestly, I believe that she was dabbling in drugs even before she signed up for a top model and was on it. Um, yeah. But, you know, hopefully she'll clean up and yeah. recolor her hair and not look like a janky chick and hopefully get her, yeah. well, some of her beauty back and... Yeah, we got show yeah. shit together and get a career going. Yeah, I say this, man. If you're a young woman and you want to get into modeling, take a lesson out of this shit. Uh, take sorry. a lesson. Don't get hooked on that shit. Don't be starving yourself because you're be- just as beautiful on the outside as well on the inside. You do not need to kill yourself by taking meth and all that other shit or starving yourself. Mm-hmm. I say that for a fact, man, because there's been girls doing that, doing that shit every day, dying from it. Dying. Curbs are beautiful, trust me. Yes, now you look at Monique. Now you look at Monique, this girl made big clothes and had big models. And uh what was it? Uh look that was that one remember that what was it, Road Trip, that movie? Yeah. That remember that fat that thick black girl in that movie that was hitting on that oh, skinny yeah. guy? She was a plus side model. <laughs> plus side model and I was like, Oh my god. But like I said, man, this all I gotta say, man. I'm glad. Like I'm gonna put her in my prayers, man. I hope y'all do too, man. Just wish her luck to get uh, get that she sticks with the rehab and she like that, man, because she really needs it, man, to get off that shit. And uh, this has been Afro Joe. Sadistic. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr at Afro underscore Joe underscore no, well it's going to be in the 
be in the description box my the link to my uh, Tumblr. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, CLO Junior Two, CLO Junior Three. Like I said, man, I'm putting uh, I, like I got a I got my Tumblr up, man. I just hope people follow me on Tumblr too. But like I said, man, peace, love, and Afro grease. Shane Pussy.